Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Fix This. In this episode, we're going to show you how to test and replace the water valve in a Maytag Whirlpool, a Mana, Ikea dishwasher. They're pretty much all built by Whirlpool, so they're all going to use the same valve. But to access the valve, you're going to remove the toe kick, two brackets that you'll twist with a quarter inch, or sorry, a flathead screwdriver, and you're going to use your quarter inch nut driver to remove the screw that holds the water valve in place. Water valve is just going to slide right off the frame of the dishwasher. Now you're going to want to make sure you turn the water off. Probably should do this before you get started, but um, yeah, get the water turned off, and then you're going to remove the Molex plug, which is the power supply to the water valve. Then to test it, we're going to go ahead and connect our meter leads. Doesn't matter which lead goes to which wire. I'm just going to push them in, make sure that they're making contact, and then turn the dishwasher on. A lot of dishwashers will drain first for a couple minutes and then fill. Wait till you hear the, uh, the drain pump kick off. But you can see 120 volts there, which tells us we have power to the valve, and it's a bad valve. So we're going to go ahead and remove the hose clamp from the water valve. You're going to have a bit of water coming out, so uh, make sure you have a towel handy. Probably should have put the towel down first, and then it could have soaked up the water to begin with, but uh, in this video I guess I didn't. And next you're going to remove the water valve. Now you can take the hose off the valve to begin with if you want while it's attached. I find it easier for, for me to do it afterwards. Water wouldn't shut all the way off on this one, so there's a little bit of uh, trickling water. Once the old valve's off, you're going to screw the new valve back on. And I like to try to line the valve up uh, with the hose that attaches to the valve from the dishwasher when I begin here. That way it makes it easier when I put the water valve back in place. Once the hose is on, connect the power. And then I'm going to connect the fill hose to the dishwasher. And make sure you get the clamp on all the way so that that hose does not pop off. Line the valve up to the housing on the dishwasher. You're going to slide it in uh, to the grooves. And you're going to take your quarter inch nut driver and reattach the valve with the quarter inch. Turn the water back on. Make sure you check really good that there are no leaks coming from the valve. Once you see there's no leaks, you're going to turn the dishwasher on and, and fill it with water. Once again, check. Make sure there's no leaks on the actual connection from the supply line to the valve and then from the valve to the hose that goes to the dishwasher. Thanks for joining us again. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for weekly videos on how to fix your own appliances.